hi everyone and thanks for watching thanks for hitting play on um in this video today um i have a huge um book haul to share with you a lot of them are vintage um and i just wanted to i won't probably sh i won't be able to show you what i'm going to do with them but i can probably talk you through some of the things that i will do with some of these and why i bought these books just so that you can know what to look out for at your car boots your flea markets or your old charity shops um so let me push all these to one side a minute if i can and push those to one side a minute oh and let's go through these books right okay so um i had a couple of ladybird books which i think there's another one there <clears throat> excuse me and i do have quite a lot a big collection of butterfly books uh, butterfly books um ladybird books um i just love them i love the old um ladybird books because the images are just lovely and this is um a butterfly butterflies and moths um and this is from i do not know um but it's lovely it's got lots of lovely um butterfly images um look at the bird on there not wouldn't use that one um but they're just very <coughs> excuse me <coughs> very colorful and just gorgeous lots of butterflies which you could actually cut them out individually to put on projects or you can use the pages in your journal so that's why i got that one and we have a nursery rhymes one so that if i do a children's journal um look at the man in the moon um tom the piper son look at the images on here they're just gorgeous um they're just beautiful look at these images i just love them so this is a nursery rhyme one then we have keywords with peter and jane and look someone's written in here as well which i absolutely adore to think that some child a child actually look wrote in this i just think it's lovely um so this is just adorable to use in um, a journal it's just lovely i just look there's actually written in here i wonder how old they are now i don't know if this one's got a year in it this one isn't so old i must admit um i don't know i can't see but anyway it's just very super cute peter is in the shop the dog is in the shop the ball is in the tree jane is in the tree um just lovely and look at this cute little dog book i found this is just adorable and i thought that you know if somebody wanted a little dog um journal you could use these um on look at the little <laughs> he's so cute oh look look at his little face these are oh look he wants his tummy tickling dogs bring out the best in humankind and i just thought this is just super super cute you could make little um altered paper clips look that's just adorable <clears throat> so i had to have that and it was 50p 50 pence was um then i got this one for hidden treasure it's um just an old book but the reason i got it was because the pages are quite sturdy so these are always good for tags and things and uh you know just it's just book pages that i'll just use um for the back of projects really so that you can never have enough of those <clears throat> excuse me now this one is uh quite this is black beauty and i got this because it reminds me of my childhood actually and this is 1956 i believe so um it's just something from my childhood but i just love the little pages i wanted a book that had little pages because i've got a project coming up to show you what to do with book pages and these are just a lovely size for pockets so um that would be later on this week i will show you that project how to use this book so i must keep that to one side oh we all love our bird books and this is a lovely book it's called bird spotting and look at these images now it is falling apart but look at these so these i would use for pockets tuck spots um tags these are just beautiful i love these images and this is about 1950s or something like that bird spotting 
<clears throat> um, dictionary is always handy. So I do have um, a couple of dictionaries. There's another one over here. Oh, we'll go into that in a minute. So dictionary is always good just to cut out the words to use on um, projects. So um, I, I will have loads of, of dictionaries. So whenever I see a good one, um, I always get it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Um, this I thought was hilarious. It's called Llama Rama. And look, it is all different pictures of llamas. It's hilarious, actually. This is a modern book. But look, L is for llama. Look at that cute llama. So if somebody, look, hey girl, want to go for a picnic? I'll pack a lunch. <laughs> the pictures. Um, you're such a drama llama. Oh my gosh, I love this book. Llama glamour, llama glamour, a domesticated South American camelid, and glamour llama, a fabulous llama. Laughing at my do, I'll pack it in. I'll pack a, in it in. I'll pack it in. Laughing at my my do, with his hair, do I presume? Don't be alarmed. Ah, literally shocked and one surprise llama. No way, jaw drop. So unexpected. Love this book. Um, don't be afraid to stand out from the herd. Butts up, buddy. Oh my goodness me. I'm pleased to meet you. Kevin, stop sniffing the butt. Oh dear. Okay, that's not really more. Anyway, I just love this book. I thought it was so much fun. Um, then I have this children's book, Tom and the Two Handles. And the colours in this book, it is just lovely. Look, I can read book number 37. And I got this for the images. It is just gorgeous. Look at these lovely, colourful pages on here. Oh, love it, love it, and love it. Oh, just love this book. Um, I just love it. Even in, like, a grown-up journal to have coloured pages like this. I just love, I love having lots of different pages. Right, now, what else did we get? All right, Peter's Insect Friends. Um, thought this was just a cute book with lots of lovely um, images. Again, I would just use these for um, journal pages. Um, just think they're very pretty. Or you could actually cut these out and use them as corners in a journal. Look, that would be ideal to cut out as a corner in a journal. So, you know, always handy to go through books and have a look. This is a little friendship book. So this is just full of lots of little sayings, words of friendship, comfort and assistance need not be spoken aloud. So I just thought that these would be lovely to cut out and put on um, little tags or, you know, anything really. Um, this is Dear John, here is my favourite quotation. So this is just a book of quotations by different people. Um, and I just thought that this would be quite cute. Um, I've never heard of half of these. Daphne du Maurier have. He travel. He travels the fastest who travels alone. I've heard of... Uh, oh, Cleo Lane. I expect to pass through this world, but once any good thing, therefore, that I can do, or any kindness that I can do to any fellow creature, let me do it now. Let me not defer or neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. Oh. Okay, so just lovely sort of little sayings, which I thought would be quite fun to cut out and put on projects. Um, this is a watercolour pad that I picked up. I think it was 50 pence. Yeah, it was. And it's just a watercolour page. So I'm going to put that in my artsy bits. Um, then we, oh, we have another Ladybird book about stamp collecting, which lovely stamps on here that you could even just cut out the stamps to use on projects. And look, so you've got lots of stamps in there that you could cut out. Um, then I found some old golden hands. Oh my gosh, I remember these when I used to crochet. Oh my gosh, these are just old crafting um, magazines. And I just love these pages and thought that they would be so colourful. Look at this in a journal. Just very interesting pages. So I'm going to actually collect a few more of these because I love... Look at these old images. Aren't they just lush? Look at her on the telephone. Oh, hello. 
Oh, hello, darling. Are you coming home for your tea? Oh, I'll see you rather shortly. Just look at the telephone. Hilarious. Um, but I do like these images in these golden hands. I think they're adorable. Look, um, I picked up some because they've got like really lovely um, pages like this, which I thought would be such fun to fold over um, and have a journal. But look at these. So pretty. Just love them. And you see these at Car Boots. I've seen these quite a few times and never actually pick them up. And I think now I will because they're just very, um, look at these pages here, look. Just make a very interested journal flip or um, this one again would make a nice journal page. Um, beautiful. So I am going to be picking up some more of these because look, the images in them are just very colourful. Almost knitting. Um... Yes, there's a few of those. And then I have picked up this. I love this book. Um, it is the Official Antiques Review 1992. So not a particularly old, old, old book. But why I love it. It has all of these little antique artifacts. Which, look, you could cut these out. And you would have so much fun cutting out these little bits and pieces. Look at these little clocks. Look. How lovely will these look cut out and put on um, projects. And I'll probably do some projects very soon um, using a book like this. Um, cutting out some of these little funny things like these um, grandfather clocks. Clocks especially are very, very good. But there's lots of other... I think there's also a page of people in here somewhere. I think I saw. Yeah, look. There's old little photos as well, which you could most certainly use. So there's, you would have so much fun. I think, I'm not sure how much I paid for this, probably £2, but it is well worth it. And then the last things I've got to show you, um, I managed to find a large print dictionary, which is amazing. Look at these big words here. So again, dictionaries are very good, but having the larger print is especially good for the definitions etc so but it led me to think okay i wanted some large print books um so i managed to pick up a couple um i was going to read this one first before i cut it up her desert prints mm. and after reading it it is a bit saucy but the idea of getting these large print books is so that you can cut out words and phrases and i have actually done some already um just to show you so for instance let's have a look which ones we cut out oh, these are from the dictionary so there's miraculous um miracle milestone uh mirror <coughs> glamour so <coughs> excuse me and this one is from one of the books and this one it was a perfect morning so you could put that in your journal and then you could have a little write-up of how why is your morning perfect you know it just gives you little prompts for um writing in your journals etc so i'm gonna have a lot of fun reading through these books and cutting out little um sayings let's see if we can find another one <coughs> oh that's a dictionary one. Oh my gosh my cough is just annoying me now I want to find another one just so that I can show you the kind of things. What's this one say? Oh, their desire had grown. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> probably not the one I was looking for. Um, in like another one, we have good idea. And then you could write down, well, what good idea have you had? You know, so these are great um, to put in your in your um, bullet journals or your planners or things like that so i have got a couple of large print um books so i can go through them and cut them up oh there was another thing i managed to get some old bookmarks um which are again fun look at that oh horsey one um and the owl and this one here which is a lovely gorgeous um horse so um i do like bookmarks to put in journals so i have got a little box of bookmarks there as well so i've had a lot of fun in my bookshop um this week 
and I will be doing some book page project ideas um, this week as well. I'm going to pick up where I left off um, a few weeks back. Obviously, I've been doing my craft room. So, oh, look, I forgot. And I got this lacy um, piece, probably a bookmark, but I'll probably use, cut these out and use on projects. So, yes. Um, so, yeah, I have been doing my craft room. So, obviously, other things have gone on hold. But I will pick up where I left off with the book page idea project books and lots more things coming up. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's inspired you and given you some ideas where, you know, what books to look out for or how you can use the books and how much fun you can actually have with old books. It's honestly amazing. I will do a video and show you all of my book collection yeah i have a lot i have a lot so i will definitely do a video very soon on all my books so um take care for now my lovelies and i shall see you all very soon take care bye bye